Hi, I'm Snap. Am I looking at it? Yeah. So, uh, in response to some questions I had on comments on other videos, um, one of them was to elaborate on where in the past I've talked about uh, hallucinogenic substances no longer affecting me at any level. And, you know, I've even posted some videos demonstrating that. Um, and the point of that was, and, and how I came, well, first, how I came to the realization of that was uh, because the first real glimpse of enlightenment, which turned out just to be the true self, uh, what I really am, the, the soul's actual expression, which are meant to be here. Uh, the first time I ever experienced that was on mushrooms. Um, but it was vastly different than any... Prior to that, I was a big hallucinator. I would, I would see just incredible geometric patterns and I like just, just, just un indescribable things uh, that would make you think uh, from a human perspective like well that that must be something beyond me that made that I my mind couldn't even do that like uh, but even though the mind is just a limited pattern of consciousness um, it still is it still is a a power of the soul it is it is it is still consciousness driving it is still God's energy driving it uh, it is just greatly diminished from your true potential uh, because when when your true potential dreams, uh, this is the result, you know, this type of reality. So, uh, and sustainability, you know, to the energy of it. The mind doesn't have that. Right? Not at this level. Anyway, I'm good. So, uh, so yeah, so I basically came to a place where everything just was perfect everything everything was beautiful in a way I had never seen before like the colors were, were just brighter uh, um, but but nothing would there was no movement there was no everything was crystal clear crystal clear like super hi-fi high definition and at the same time I felt like my perfect self just perfectly energized and relaxed at the same time perfectly confident perfectly aware, perfectly intelligent, everything. So easy, it was so easy. And I, and I knew like that must be, that must be what they're talking about. That must be what enlightenment is or something like that. Uh, and that's what really drove me to keep looking for it and to eventually find it without mushrooms. Um, at which point I discovered, you know, it wasn't an experience. It was just me. It was just me without the mind. Me free of any beliefs or concepts. And, and, and that what I wasn't even free of any beliefs or concepts yet. But uh, comparatively, I was. You know, there's still uh, a stripping away process uh, for all of us. Uh, the deeper patterns have to be released, and they have to come to the surface. You got to get caught in them a little. For, for them, for you to see them and release them. Um, but it, but it's specifically about the drug, the drug interactions and consciousness. Uh, well, it occurred to me early on. Well, si since I knew that, okay, let me. After I had, for the first time, found this to be myself and stayed in this state on a consistent basis for maybe. For, for the first two or three weeks, uh, there was there was no thoughts at all. It was just silence. So in this place of meditation, of just deep meditation, but but constant, no matter what I was doing, whether I moved or not. Although I did just sit and meditate a lot uh, during during this time, I, I was you know spending it re-examining what I was. Um, because I realized everything that I thought was wrong, you know, everything that I believed was wrong, uh, and and if it was true that this experience I was having, I was asking myself, if, it, if it's true that this experience I'm having is just generated by me, by my own consciousness, 
and this consciousness is is this infinite field that's that I can feel radiating everywhere and this this thing is prior to this universe then how how could it possibly how could it possibly be affected by anything I took by any substance that just made no sense it's, it was utterly impossible and uh, right then because because I hadn't taken a substance again uh, a hallucinogenic substance uh, at the time I had a friend who would give me some LSD and I thought well, you know what because LSD I know is a, is a powerful brain I had been taught brain altering substance right mind altering substance yes they say but they mean what, a, what doctors and scientists mean is brain altering substance they're saying this substance is altering this physical thing here and that is producing the change in consciousness because this physical thing here is producing my consciousness which 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 every fiber of my being everything that I could feel everything that I could see and knew to be true now told me that was wrong that was fucking excuse me that was dead wrong <laughs> completely wrong we had always been here because I had experienced being prior to time outside of time yeah so I so I I think I got three hits of uh, three or four hits of really good LSD uh, well okay, good LSD <laughs> and uh, and I I reason that if if in fact you know this would this would show me you know I would not be able to completely negate these effects or I would have some kind of hallucinatory effects if in fact this was affecting my brain and the brain was fundamental uh, so 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 I what I did is I just took them and didn't do anything I just relaxed I let the trip set in okay I did feel it come on and I was looking at a I picked up a book and I started to see some distortions of the letters and then I so I realized I was starting to have hallucinations and I and then I told myself or I asked myself is this real or is this ego is the mind feeling what you just felt and now producing these responses do we know what we are and the moment I said that I went into silence I opened my eyes and everything was crystal clear there I couldn't feel the substance and in fact, I just felt radiated with joy. I was, just, yeah, and I was completely sober, completely sober. Uh, and I, you know, later on, I tried it with various, various substances, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what. Honestly, it doesn't matter if it's a poison. And this, like, you know, I get asked these things. Uh, all of this is well documented. Uh, just look, like it's all out there. Uh, there are plenty of yogis who have taken poisons. It's just the skeptical, especially the American, but or the European, the Western mind, uh, is it just doesn't accept them. It just doesn't accept them. It won't accept them until it sees them firsthand, and therefore it will never see them. Because you are you are you are you are allowing in your reality what you are willing to accept, what you are willing to perceive as real and that's just a small fraction of what is in fact most of what you're seeing isn't it's, the, it's only the mind's vision yeah. um, try it yourself try it yourself this is nothing this is uh, don't trust me this is nothing unique to me it's nothing unique to me and anyone can do this uh, the, the way these substances affect you is largely based on belief, you know? Uh, uh, the belief of what others have said about the substances, you know, in the past. Because most of us hear stories about them before we take them. And uh, if it's a natural substance, because I'm also a shaman, if it's a natural substance, you know, marijuana, mushrooms, or anything, whether, whether they're hallucinatory or not, um, 
you can you can come into vibration with it you can know it you can have an experience with that plant uh, either just by touching it holding it feeling it or or ingesting it a little bit of it uh, is a good way smoking it sometimes um, Yeah, I guess that pretty much covers it. Uh, if you have further questions on it, you can uh, you can just comment there. Right. Namaste. Thank you.